For nearly a century, a concrete barrier known as Dutch Flat Dam blocked wild steelhead from spawning in the upper reaches of Little Bear Creek near Troy, Idaho. In the early 20s, it was constructed as a public uh, water system. The city quit using the reservoir decades ago, and the land around the site sat badly degraded for years. This was a dumping site for locals to get rid of refuse of various types, and it was completely covered with weeds. But today, after years of planning and hard work, Little Bear Creek and its surrounding environment have dramatically improved. In 2013, workers from the city of Troy removed the old concrete barrier, and over time, native vegetation took root. I haven't been here for over a year, and I am astounded about how green it is and how how nature has just stepped in and repaired this entire area, just giving it a little help, a little boost with, with reveg, and it's taken off. And now, for the first time since the 1920s, scientists are documenting wild steelhead spawning in the upper reaches of the creek. And the free-flowing stream is incredible. The fish coming up into the system are incredible, and it's just very exciting. Yeah, it's been exciting to see how quickly these fish have uh, sort of pioneered and, and, and utilized this habitat that's been opened up um, following the removal. The Bonneville Power Administration provided funding for the restoration project that also included partners such as the City of Troy, the Idaho Governor's Office of Species Conservation, the Leta Soil and Water Conservation District, the Idaho Department of Fish and Game, Northwest Power and Conservation Council, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, the Pacific Coastal Salmon Recovery Fund and NOAA Fisheries, the North Leta County Highway District, and the Idaho Department of Environmental Quality. And so we are thinking that this, this site is pretty much on its way um, and we'll keep checking it from year to year. I think it's been an excellent recovery in three years. Yet the restoration effort is not quite complete. Additional plans call for removing three more culverts, allowing fish access to a total of 18 miles of new habitat. I've lived here my whole life and, and I've always played in the creek and, and had fun with the creek. And, and uh, to know that there's three, four, five pound fish in there just blows my mind. 